Welcome to another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe for more. In this video, we are going to look at how to find the distance between two points as part of coordinate geometry. Uh, before we look at our formula, I just want to make you aware of different ways of asking the same thing. So it could come up as simply as asking you to find the distance or find the length. Length and distance meaning the same thing. These parallel lines either side of the two points that they want you to find, it's also in the formula in your log tables here. Those modulus lines also mean length. Uh, and just to be clear, you can find the distance between A and B or B and A. It's the same thing. So it doesn't matter which point you put first, you will get the same answer. So we're having a look here at our formula. Our formula needs two coordinates and we label our coordinates x1, y1, x2, y2. So your formula is within the square root and I've just given an example here. So I've picked three random points, A, B and C. The first part of the question we're gonna look at here is finding the distance from A to B. It is asking you the distance because look at here, it's asking you to find the length. Those parallel lines, as we said, are on the formula within your log tables. So that's the giveaway there that it's asking you to find the distance. Now, I've given you three points. The first one it wants us to do is find the distance from A to B. So I'm just gonna write down my two points, A and B, and my A is minus one, three, and my B is three, negative two. I'm then gonna label those. So x1, y1, x2, y2. That's the first thing you should do. Next thing, like any exam, you always write down your formula for the distance. So my formula, the distance, is going to be um, x squared minus x1, all to be squared, plus y2 minus y1, close your bracket, all to be squared. That is all within a square root. That square root is part of your formula. Now I'm gonna sub it in. So my distance from A to B is equal to the square root of X squared, which is minus two, or sorry, it's three. I'm just gonna put them in different colors here. So that's my three. And then subtracting my X one, and my X one is negative one. So that's coming from here. I've labeled x1 to be negative one. Helpful to use brackets because you can see here now there's a double negative. I'm gonna close that entire bracket and that will be all to be squared. I'm then bringing down this plus. So it's going to be plus bracket y2. Again, I'm creating a new internal bracket here. y2 is negative two. I'm then subtracting. So the subtract from here now is giving me, I'm subtracting my y1, which is I'm subtracting three. Close my bracket and then my outer bracket and that has to be once again, all to be squared. And that is all within my square root. Now a little bit of tidying up. So the distance from A to B is equal to three minus minus one. Two minuses are giving me a plus, so it's giving me the square root of three plus one, all to be squared, plus minus two minus three is giving me on my number line minus five, all to be squared, and that is all going into my square root. I'm just gonna make a bit of room here, I'll bring it up here. So that's giving me the distance, AB is equal to the square root of three plus one, which is giving me uh, four. So that'll be four all to be squared plus my minus five all to be squared. I then evaluate that four squared is 16 minus five by minus five is giving me positive 25. If you're using a Casio calculator, just make sure that you're using brackets on your calculator. So that's why I'm using brackets throughout the whole question. 16 plus 25 then, so AB, the distance is equal to the square root of 41. And the square root of 41 on your calculator, if again using a Casio, make sure and hit your SD button. I'm going to go to one decimal point. 
which is 6.4 units. Again, I don't know if it's centimeters or meters or kilometers, so that's why I'm writing it as units. So my answer, AB, is equal to 6.4 units. Hope it helps. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.